Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. There is no way to know for sure, but the United States would definitely be weaker if the Anti-Federalists won. At the time of the debate over the Constitution, European powers still wanted control in the Americas. The new nation also would have a problem paying its bills if the Anti-Federalists had their way. Make your mark! Take our lead! The Federalists wanted a strong government and strong executive branch, while the Anti-Federalists wanted a weaker central government. The Federalists did not want a Bill of Rights, they thought the new constitution was sufficient. The Anti-Federalists demanded a Bill of Rights. Take our lead. Those who supported the Constitution and a stronger national republic were known as Federalists. Those who opposed the ratification of the Constitution in favor of small localized government were known as Anti-Federalists. They did not share one unified position on the proper form of government. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! The supporters of the proposed constitution called themselves, Federalists. Their adopted name implied a commitment to a loose, decentralized system of government. In many respects, Federalism, which implies a strong central government, was the opposite of the proposed plan that they supported. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! Protection of the people's rights. Federalists, well-educated and wealthy. Another reason why you should be a Federalist is because a strong, national government would protect the rights of the people. The Anti-Federalists say they like the people but stick with us you will be better. Make your mark, take our lead! The Anti-Federalists agreed to support ratification, with the understanding that they would put forth recommendations for amendments should the document go into effect. The Federalists agreed to support the proposed amendments, specifically a Bill of Rights. Make your mark! Take our lead! Although there is no canonical list of anti-federalist authors, major authors include Cato, likely George Clinton, Brutus, likely either Mellington Smith, Robert Yates or perhaps John Williams, Sentinel, Samuel Bryan, and the federal farmer either Mellington Smith, Richard Henry Lee, or Mercy Otis Warren. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark! Federalists argued that the Constitution did not need a Bill of Rights, because the people and the states kept any powers not given to the federal government. Anti-Federalists held that a Bill of Rights was necessary to safeguard individual liberty. Thank you for watching! Please subscribe and hit the bell notification!